If you wanna chat with multiple LLMs in one dashboard where you have image generation and analysis, being able to chat with your documents and easily integrate it with Teams or Slack, even going further to create specialized chatbots and AI automations, you're on the right video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about Abacus AI's chat LLM teams that makes all of this possible. And because they're sponsoring this video, I'm going to go deep into each and every section, giving you the benefits of why this is better than just doing one standalone LLM or one standalone AI tool that doesn't have the same capabilities as this so you and your team can thrive. So let's jump right into part number one, chatting with multiple LLM. So as you can see in the top here, you have all of these different models from ChatGPT 4.0, Claude Sonnet 3.5, that is currently the best LLM, Llama 3, Gemini Pro, Abacus Smog, that is their own trained, I'll share a little bit later. And the reason chatting with different LLMs is important is I always describe it as chatting with different personalities. Some LLMs have bullet point outlines, some LLMs are way smarter, and it really takes some testing before you find the one that is the right fit for you. And having them all in one place is very beneficial because different LLMs are superior at different things. So I'm gonna ask them all the same exact prompt just to show you a little demo. So I wrote this prompt, act as a copywriter. You're making a YouTube intro for a video that is about chat LLM, and then I have a bunch of context. Write an intro that starts with a hook, an intro to captivate the audience, etc. Post, we're gonna check with ChatGPT first. And here we got the response from ChatGPT. Opening scene, oh, it's really fast. Energic music plays, dynamic visuals of various AI models and integrations flash across the screen. Narrator, imagine a world where you can harness the power of multiple AI models, generate stunning images, and seamlessly integrate with your favorite app, all from one powerful dashboard. Cut to close up of Chat LLM, logo with a sleek animation. Welcome to Chat LLM. So, this is decent, it's not amazing. Let's see how Claude Sonnet does it. Same prompt, post. Imagine having the power of multiple AI brains at your fingertips, all working together to supercharge your productivity. This is so boring. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Hey there, tech enthusiasts and productivity hackers. These intros are not as hooking, and that's why I use a way longer prompt usually for intros or ideas. So let's try that when we go to Llama 3, and I'll add here, intro that starts with three hook, and I'll change a little bit extra as well. I know now we're not really testing it all on the same prompt. I just want to see what the best, or if we can do a really good intro. Damn, that was fast. Hook number one, imagine a world where AI assistants are limited to just one language model. Sounds like a nightmare, right? <laughs> I love that an AI is writing this. Decent, not enough. Hook number two, but what if I, okay, it's actually not writing three independent hooks. Let me change the prompt, three unique hook. And by the way, when we have the generate and analyze images, it actually pops up generating an image. I'll show you the images it actually generates in a minute. Llama3 coming in with, what if I told you that the future of AI was not just one super intelligent being, but many? That's better. Working together in harmony to revolutionize the way you work. Hey, I'm actually hooked on that one. Hook number two, the humorous analogy. Imagine having multiple AI assistants like a team of highly skilled, super efficient interns, hmm, but with the coffee breaks, but without the coffee breaks or the constant questions about what's for lunch. I guess, but it's not amazing. Hook number three, did you know the average business uses five different language models for various tasks? But what if I could access them all in one place with just a few clicks? That's a lie. The average business does not use five different language models. Thank you, Meta AI. Let's jump to Gemini 1.5 Pro. The exact same prompt, and this is where you really see the difference. Let's Post it and you can see how different the formatting is. Hook number one, tired of juggling a dozen different AI tools just to get one project done? Yeah, me too. That's why I'm freaking out about chat LLM. Hey, that's not bad. Hook number two, fast paced curiosity, generate images, write code, automate your workflow. What if you could do it all in one place? Stop switching apps, start working smarter. Let's talk chat LLM. I kind of like this fast paced curiosity, really awesome. And the third hook is, look, I don't have time for tools that over promise and under deliver. 
That's a good hook. If you're serious about AI, you need a platform that can keep up. Chat LLM is the only tool that, and then we bridge to the benefit. Hey, Gemini, doing really well here. And the last one I wanna show you is the Abacus AI that they've trained themselves. Same prompt, post, and just reading through it. So this is fine-tuned from Llama 3, the best open source model. So we do get much of the same response as Llama 3 here with the imagine a world, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of the same. So it performs very similar to Llama 3 in this case. But can you now see the benefit of using different AI models to get completely different responses. I really liked the curiosity fast paced here or even the bold claim direct appeal. And do you see that they kind of have different personalities? It feels like they all have a different foundation that they're writing. But let's dive into part number two, chat with PDF. Again, you can use any of the models here. I personally prefer Sonnet 3.5 for most and then we can actually upload a PDF and it's a little bit different, especially since this works directly in Teams or Drive or Slack. It makes it easy for you and your team to have different PDFs and upload it directly. Let's, for example, take the Amazon shareholder letter from 2023, upload it directly in here by just dragging and dropping. And we can ask it a very specific question that is hidden inside the tech. How much is Amazon growing year over year? It will start analyzing the document. Total revenue grew 12% year over year from 514 billion to 575 billion. North America, 12%, international, 11%. AWS increased 13% and Amazon advertising business grew 24%. And to check if that's true, you can see here, Amazon's advertising progress remains strong going 24% year over year. You can see also 12% coming from this number, but let's ask it even harder question. What is Amazon focusing on to keep up the growth? And we get this beautiful numbered list and this happens super fast. And some interesting in here is Project Kuiper, which is their low earth orbit satellite initiative aimed at providing broadband connectivity globally, generative AI, investing in all layers of the Gen AI stack from compute infrastructure to application development, robotics and automation, healthcare as well, that's creating building blocks to transform the customer health experience. Didn't know that. Just one more question because I'm from Norway. Are they planning on expire? Silly question. There is no specific mention of plans to expand or focus more on Norway in particular. European expansion is briefly touched upon when discussing delivery speed, stating more than 2 billion items were delivered same or next day in Europe. I really love how this PDF document integration in Abacus work. I really love PDFs and LLMs. It just really goes hand in hand. Asking questions about the PDF and you get correct answers back, which you can easily integrate with you and your team. But let's check out part number three coding. So when ChatGPT came, I started making small apps that could make my life a lot easier, especially because I'm not a coder. I still don't know how to code. I just asked ChatGPT to code me different things. But being able to get answers from different LLMs in this case is amazing because ChatGPT normally will start going in loops or it will just make bad code. So the ability to quickly change from different LLMs is amazing. Let's just do a very simple quick test, make a Flappy Bird game in Python, starting with ChatGPT here. It will start writing the code where you can copy the code, make a new file. We're missing a bird.png. Let's actually ask it to generate an image of bird.png as well. I'll show you more image generation in a minute, but <laughs> that's amazing. Let's download, let's test it again. And you see that we actually have an error. Yep, it doesn't work, so I would then paste the error code back into ChatGPT again, then try again and again in loops. But let's just jump directly to Claude with the exact same prompt. It seemed a lot more comprehensive and easy to use. Let's just copy paste the code and go again. And there you have it. Now I can play with just clicking the space bar. And if I hit the wall, boom. We're out. Just to continue the testing, let's actually use Abacus AI here. Copy paste the entire code and then ask it, can you rewrite the script to make the bird my file bird.png that's in my documents folder? Copy the code, paste the code and make sure I find the documents folder here. And there you have it. <laughs> the bird is actually there. <laughs> 
I just love coding with ChatGPT or any LLM. It's pretty cool, right? If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend testing it out. But what about part four, Abacus Chat LLM's image capability? Not only can you generate images, but you can also analyze images. I'll show really quickly how it works. So say you have this in your textbook or something like that. I'll just drag an image in, ask it, can you explain this? And it says the image illustrates a key concept in special relativity known as a light cone. And then it breaks it down into seven steps of how space and time are interconnected in Einstein's theory of special relativity. We can take another photo of photosynthesis. I'll just show you this. And then it explains the inputs, outputs and process. You can of course use a lot of different languages to translate this, but I really want to check out the image generation. I'm going to generate an image of a gorgeous Norwegian woman sitting on a throne. Well, you'll see how it looks like now. Yep, there you have it. Beautiful image here. Face looks a little bit wonky, but the dress is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna redo the exact same prompt because I think it looks super awesome. Another beautiful image here. Let's try something different, like a cat with a top hat on steampunk clothes at Burning Man. <laughs> yeah, this looks super sick. Even just having the ability to do it inside of Abacus. Like for example, Claude doesn't have image generation capabilities so that you can use them and interconnect them is crazy. Here's a reptile with military armor sneaking through the jungle. Yep, this is really, really good on the image generation side. It's just so simple to use all in one place, but it gets even better when we get to part number five, inviting teams and integrating with your app. So you might have seen this button here in the top that says invite team. This is really awesome because you can invite users and just enter their email and this allows you to share specific chat sessions with team members. So it means you can collaborate on research, content creation, problem solving in real time with the AI as your assistant. You can even create groups here that gets access to your document, but even more conveniently, you can use one of these connections like Slack is what I use. You can also connect with Drive. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna click on connect for Slack. I'm gonna click on add new connector. You can see that they have a lot of other things that you can actually use if this is something that you use. We're gonna go with Slack, add to Slack. I'll just sign in. We just have to allow it. And now you can use add Abacus AI list, Abacus AI chatbot name and query and help as well. So let's jump into Slack, chat with it. I'm gonna click on this Slack redirect and I believe I can just ask it, what's the capital Norway? I need to say GPT-4, for example, and then what's the capital of Norway? And in the reply here, you can see that the capital of Norway is Oslo. So you just added an AI directly inside of Slack and not just any AI, every single best LLM that you can get access to right now, which is a huge game changer for you and your team. Another quick thing that you might have a lot of benefit from is the add new chatbot. This is more advanced. I won't go deep into it, but you can create AI agent with complex tasks like document generation and automation and a custom chatbot that is trained on your knowledge base. So you can upload a bunch of documents. But let me show you, for example, the AI agent. If this is useful to you, you might want to dig deeper. So here you see you set up data pipelines with documents, tables and evaluation. Step two, you have a feature group. I showed you that earlier. You have document retrievers and then you create an agent you manage and deploy and then batch predictions. So I won't have time to go deep into this, but this is something you can definitely check out. I just need to play more around with this. So if you're considering using chat LLM teams, the price is only $10 per user build monthly where the first month is free, which in comparison with ChatGBT paid or any other LLM paid. It's a great deal. So check it out by clicking my link in the description down below to go to Chat LLM by Abacus and get started today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.